What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Double Dribble. And today's episode, um, when this is being posted, it should be Thursday, the day before the draft. And uh, most recently, I've been seeing a lot of stuff being posted by like Ball's Life and, and places like that about Mac McClung and the upcoming NBA draft. Um, I just want to give my thoughts on it and uh, let you know where I think he's going to go in the draft. And just talk about you know everything I've been seeing about him in this year's uh, draft. But before we get in the video, I just want to quickly say if you're a fan of basketball, whether it be high school, college, or the NBA, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Join the conversation. We love interacting with you guys in the comments. Make sure you hit the like button on this video. Uh, share it with one of your friends. And let's get right into the video. So recently, you know, I've been seeing a lot about Mac McClung on YouTube, on social media. Honestly, a lot of it is by like Ball's Life and different uh, pages like that. And they've been posting a lot about him in the upcoming draft and, you know, interviews with him. And I just seen something that was kind of like a day in life or getting ready to become a pro or something like that. It was titled. But I just want to give my thoughts on Mac McClung, where I think he's going to go in, in the draft on Friday. And, uh, um, you know, just really give my thoughts on, on Mac McClung. So I recently made a video talking about him and if his draft stock was rising um, after the NBA uh, draft combine. And I talked about how it you know, maybe was rising a little bit, but not too much. And now after, after a little bit of time, it seems like his draft stock really hasn't rose at all. Um, according to this, I've been looking online, but according to this one uh, website, they have him in the top 100 prospect ranked uh, 90th in the 2021 you know, top 100 prospects. Uh, projected projected draft range is second round to undrafted. I think that's honestly looking more towards the undrafted side, unless some team you know wants to take a shot on him in the second round and uh, you know see if he pans out in the summer league. Obviously, those second round picks aren't you know a guaranteed NBA contract or anything like that. But if you want to you know take a shot on him, give him a shot in the summer league. But at the same time, you know you could most likely. Uh, just wait till he goes undrafted and then you know pick him up or try pick him up obviously you're not guaranteed like you would if you drafted him but try pick him up and get him on your summer league um, that way but it's looking like he's going to be more towards the undrafted side you know looking at some of his you know downsides or weaknesses to his game I mean everyone's saying the same thing seeing the same thing uh, this one website here I'll list off some of what they um what they say his weaknesses are or things that he needs to work on. And they say inconsistent long range shooter, prone to hoisting up questionable shots, can play too wildly on offense, can be uh, too scoring focused on offense, need to, need to, needs to improve his rebounding, uh, can be unfocused defensively, and not a true point guard but is undersized to play the two. Uh, there's a couple of those that I completely agree with and have been kind of saying in all my videos or a couple of the videos I made about Mac McClung. For some reason, I seem to get, you know, people in the comments trying to, you know, not necessarily say I'm wrong, but disagree with me. Uh, one of the main things that I've always been saying is that, you know, like they say here, prone to hoisting up questionable shots, um, and can be too focused uh, or scoring focused on offense. Uh, really struggles to see the whole floor. Um, you know, doesn't really make the right read all the time. Takes some questionable, you know, step back shots, and doesn't shoot the ball highly efficiently. And the other thing that I really like that they said here that I've been kind of saying this whole time too is uh, he's not a true point guard, but he is undersized to play the two. Uh, really, I don't think he is you know, a true point guard in, or is, would thrive at the point guard position, especially in the NBA. Um, but if you also look at that, he is also kind of undersized to play the two. I mean, he's only 6'2", 179 pounds. Uh, your two guard you know, should be bigger than that. I mean, in today's basketball, you need it. I mean... Most teams are two guard is going to be six 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 seven, uh, you know six five somewhere in there. So I really uh, he is undersized to be playing the shooting guard position, but also he is not a not a true point guard, and I don't think will uh, will really thrive at the point guard position. So that is those are a couple of the main reasons why his draft stock is looking uh, to be more towards the undrafted um, undrafted side of the things, but. He uh, could, could go, you know, like I said, get drafted in the second round if some team wants to give him a shot and uh, you see him in the summer league and see what he can do there. But now, you know, look at some of his pros because I don't want to, you know, just only list his weaknesses or, uh, you know, just talk about all the negatives of his game. You know, some of his, some of his pros are he is a, he's a decent scorer off the dribble. 
Um, he's a pretty good free throw shooter, obviously. Um, you know, you like to see that in today's game, you know, making your free throws. Along with that, he is good at getting to the line. Um, he does move well off the ball on offense. He's a, he's a very good athlete. He has a very good motor. Uh, he's, he's active most of the time. On defense, like I said, he can be unfocused and can get kind of lazy. But a lot of these guys that really just like to score the ball, that's kind of something that you might have to live with on a defensive end. Uh, the only thing that is downside for him is he's not going to have that luxury of being able to just go out there and score the ball and take off uh, plays on a defensive end. Uh, if he wants to make it in the NBA, he's going to have to start off by you know playing defense, uh, guarding the crap out of people, getting steals, getting deflections, and you know doing those type of things on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, but he is also, like I said, a pretty good scorer off the dribble. Um, you know, along with that, he moves well off the ball on offense, so he's pretty you know pretty good cutter. Uh, he knows you know how to come off screens. He's pretty good at making reads coming off you know pin downs or different screens like that. So he does have some you know good good things going for him in his game. However, uh, he does just have a lot of weaknesses in his game that are really going to show at the NBA level or showed in college that are making it uh, very difficult for teams to want to take a chance on him in the second round. And like I said, for that reason, I think uh, he's leaning more towards being undrafted in uh, this year's NBA draft. Unfortunately, a lot of people aren't going to want to hear that. Uh, they don't quite agree with it. However, you know, come draft night on you know, Friday night, he could get drafted in the second round, but who knows? Like I said, I think I think he would be best suited with sticking it out in college one more year, uh, try work on all these weaknesses that people have been, you know, talking about and uh, try to prove them wrong and show that he can do those things at the college level and then hopefully you know get drafted but his name's already in the draft we'll see what happens come tomorrow night friday night uh, in the nba draft and we'll see if he ends up getting drafted or if he's gonna you know gonna go undrafted but right now my my guess is that he's gonna go undrafted and we'll get picked up you know probably right away after the draft to to be on someone's summer league team so uh, you, you know you heard it here first leave your thoughts in the comment section down below you know what you guys what you guys think do you think he's going to get drafted do you think he should be like some first round pick undrafted what do you guys think you know leave in the comment section down below i want to hear from you guys make sure you hit the like button on this video uh, share it with your friends and we'll see you in the next one peace